Oh, good sunny afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. I'm in the shadows. It's really sunny right now. Yeah. We We're both had crazy days. Literally, I don't even know what life is, but <laughs> it is time to the P.O. Box to eat food and go to Ron Disney Expo Princess Weekend. High five. Ooh, these got all creepy. I love a good outside of the P.O. box car, car ride. ride dinner. Dinner! <laughs> it's dinner last night, but just on top of noodles. Got a carbo eat before my run. I knew you were going to say that. Even though I don't believe in that? Mm hmm. Well, bon, bon petit. Wow. Look at that sunset. This is gorgeous. So it just hit me, just literally a moment ago, that there's Run Disney events coming up soon. Like <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Like in 12 hours, I'm to gonna be done. So early. I'm gonna be done running my Ready, first in 12 set. hours. Set. Ah! Woo! We used to do that every time on the Calis program. I still do on the inside. What happened to us? We're old. <laughs> I purposely said, Sarah, you should get that shot of that ESPN <laughs> water roll sign. And then I said, if you slow down, maybe I could. So he sped up. But now this sign says, run like a princess. You had so much FOMO last year. I'm so I happy really because did. I could not Guys, go it's through supposed it to rain. again. It's supposed to rain tomorrow morning and this guy doesn't even care. I'll run soaking wet. Wait a minute. Today when I was on the highway, all of a sudden there were three motorcycle cops behind me. With their sirens going. No, I'm just joking. Then his sirens going. But like, you don't see cops on motorcycles these days. But they were like big motorcycles, and I was like, I'm going the speed limit. And then they went around me. All right. Got okay, my printout. I actually have two slips because I'm doing two different things. I'm doing a challenge, but it doesn't include the 5K. Is this your last time doing all the races besides Dopey? Yes. It is. Because right now Star Wars, we're signing for just the half. Yeah. Nothing else. I'm not saying I won't. Ever. Do them all again because done. like what if one and nine drops amazing medals next year and I'm like I have to get into ACS and do all of them but right now this is like because I'm gonna do the Fiddler's 5K and we're doing Winter Park Road Race or distance there. Are you doing that stuff? I think so. I don't know. Um, but we did. A, I had a wardrobe change. It's the most ridiculous car stop ever because I did a wardrobe change and we did Sarah's shot in the car. So now it's finally Expo time. Look at this cool banner. Half Marathon Weekend 2020. We got Moana. We got Pokey. We got the fairies. Looking, oh, and Cindy herself. Looking good. In the world of all, welcome to the 2020 Princess Half Marathon. It's a fancy Rich announcer. Okay, these are cool. Big ol' 13.1, big ol' 19.3, a big ol' 3.1 over there. Awesome. And I, I can't even, I can't even. Say it! I got all A Corral. All A, wow. First time ever in A Corral, and first time in a timed race where I got, I think I might have gotten B Corral in the 5K, but that's more of like you suggested time. This is I had to prove, I had to have a prior proof of time for wow. the challenge to get A Corral. Wow. The 229th runner. Look at that 6.2. Ooh, Pocahontas 6.2. We're in this cool stadium, which is where we came last time for Dopey, but Dopey picked up up there, way back there. Whereas today, because the smaller amount of runners were all down here, but we do have to go to a different building to get our t-shirts. Yes, you have to remember, every race, weekend is different. It like, is, I love it. I know that these are like informationally vlogs and stuff, but like usually things change. And so don't always like think that this is how it's gonna be when you I do it, but it's is... gonna, it's kind of like you get familiar with like how This is our fourth, fourth running, this is our, this is our fourth running 
fifth run Disney weekend, uh -huh. and every single one's been different. Yeah. Okay, now out to the expo and the race shirt pickup. Um, look at these windows. I really think they've been so this weekend have picked up like your marketing and awesome fun time express decorations. This is always good news. Low worry about the weather. It might be rainy. I'm gonna run soaking wet. Is it really supposed to be rainy? Uh, earlier today it said a 60% chance. Right now it says 40%. Oh. There's all the fun, the wall of metals. So we've seen the, those are all that's dopey. There was one and done last year, that's the virtual summer. But they've got, I know, I know. They've got Star Wars 2020 out already. So here's 5K, 10. Here's the half, which I am signed up for. Can't wait for that. And then Rival, Rival and Challenge. And the Kessel's over there with the virtual half. It's basically what it is. And the virtual. Right now, I think I'm only sticking with yeah. the half. The Disneyland Paris this past year, I just want to show this. I don't think we've shown this one this year. This is an absolutely gorgeous medal. 36K like challenge. It's same with this. It's just like I think Disneyland races consistently have a better medal. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know who designs them if Yellow Shoes doesn't. Look at that Rapunzel. Woo. Oh this is what's going on this weekend. We got the Moana. I saw Did that. You show that. Not super close. A little that circle is a of life. Stunning, stunning metal. All right, now onto this weekend. So Sarah doesn't keep distracting me. We got the 5K Moana, the 10K Pokey, the Cinderella. I like the shape of it, but I kind of don't like her matte finish. And there's the challenge. So we flipped the challenge. I don't like touch. I don't know. I am not a super super superstitious person, but I usually like don't handle the medals the weekend of them. Look at that. Kids are super cool. Well, there it is. The wall of medals. Now we'll go check out the merch. Yeah. And then we gotta go relax. <sighs> okay, one more stop. Willy, 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 quick. Um, I feel like this food. It's like um, a lot of good reviews. Like a lot of people like come here and eat here, which I've never done. Which makes sense because I like ESPN Zone at the board. That's all I had to say. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say we're gonna go to Merch Nice. You guys know that Run Disney Merch Nice this isn't our biggest thing, yeah. but we're gonna go check it out at least. Yeah. Bummer that we didn't see anybody from ACS oh, at but Charity. You know what we always love seeing in there is the oh, just the maps. We get to make plans. Yeah. I'm stressed about Fiddler's 5K. Yeah. Because. Some of my friends told me today that they were like, look at the road closures. It looks like you won't be able to leave the Epcot parking lot in time after the 10K to get to Fiddler's. We can always go to Fiddler's to just enjoy the music. I but know you want to be But we have to decide if we, but I have to like sign up tomorrow yeah. for it if I'm going to run it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So we have to figure out between tonight and tomorrow morning, we have to talk to some, somebody and let somebody. Fi try to find out if we can get out. Anybody. Because the road closure stops at 7.15. I'm sorry if you're not familiar with the area, but 7.15 Disney World to a 7.30 start time in Winter Park, that's like 25 miles away. Yeah. Not happening. So we'll see. TBD. Alright, creeper shot. But I have the utmost respect for the people that we see like this. Strolling through the expo with their luggage like they just got off MCO. Ready to the run. Expo. They got Cinderella's carriage. Hello. That's the parade carriage. That's not even the wedding carriage. Is it the one we take in a picture with the one? No. That's the one I think that used to be in the parades. The, pre the nighttime parade, you know, 17 years ago when Walt Disney World actually had a nighttime parade? I think you're thinking of holiday parades. Hmm. 
Red Target. So if you're curious about the merchandise, they typically have merchandise for every race, individual races. Then they have merchandise for the individual challenges. And then they just have generic like run Disney, Disney merchandise. Look at these little magic leggings. Mile after magic mile. Make it mile. pink. Make it blue. Like make that. it blue. Make it pink. These hats are cool. They're all blinged out for princess. <laughs> this is a funny one. <laughs> run like Gaston proposed. <laughs> See, so then like, so that one over there is Aurora. No time for sleep, got to and then like, one like Maleficent is behind you. <laughs> That's cute. I think the oh merchandise God. is a little bit more my cute. My little sister had a dream that haunted her as a child of Maleficent chasing her. I think she needs it. I will say that now Belle isn't one of the princesses this year, but I like that shit a lot. Look like a beauty, run like a beast. And yawn like a mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the example of like the generic run Disney shirts in March. Then over here, like every mile's magic. These were at the last expo weekend as well. And these as well. And these as well. And these as well. Something they have at this race that we don't typically see is a Disney Pandora and a Dunienberg booth. Right over there. With just the princess stuff over there. Alrighty, we're at the maps now. Start in the parking lot, through World Showcase, like all of World Showcase, past the Skyliner, and then back out through Mexico. I'll just be at the start and finish. You guys know this, this race is too fast. 10K, Princess, Saturday morning, 5.30 in the morning. I'm starting here, hopefully close to 6.30, I'll be finishing here. I'll get in my car, hopefully it'll be parked around here, and then I'll be able to leave this way confirmed it with transportation around the corner and we'll be able to get to the winter park 5k afterwards so you, you run out you go around it's similar to the last 10k and then you go all around world showcase, world showcase. <gasps> we're going around lake. crescent lake again yes and back there i love when we run around crescent lake i didn't think i was going there for the 10k that's awesome <gasps> yes this is good news looks like the charity group. All of our complaining. Are on the other side of the water. And so we're good. Because the finish line's here. This is the entrance. Right in the welcome plaza. So happy. Yeah, that's great. Alrighty, then the half marathon starts far out on the road. So I am going to just meet Peter at the Magic Kingdom. Not making that mistake again. So he goes straight there. And then through the resorts. I say it's kind of bogus on this kind of why? I get it because the construction. Exactly. But look at this. We come in through the parking lot. Yeah. We come in by DVC Lounge. Oh, you don't even go around. We don't go by World Showcase. We, we go to Mexico and we leave by Mexico. It's that same exit for every race. Where does it is that Mexico exit? Yeah, but we usually go. You either would go towards Mission Earth, which yeah. I get why we can't, or we go around the World yeah. Showcase. But we're not doing either. We're literally right just going to DVC Lounge. Well, right here, I'll in be Mexico. <laughs> Peter almost just dropped the camera. I almost whipped the camera. I don't, the have the, I don't have the strap on and I went to go like turn the, the screen around and when I put my hand down, my finger caught the strap and almost yanked it out of my other hand. Everybody, I feel it burning in me. The excitement. They always pump up the same like pump up jams yeah. that never change, but I love them. Yeah. And I can listen I heard to these. I a new one. I was like, is this a new song? I could listen to these all year long and they like wouldn't do the same thing. But when I'm here at the expo, when I'm at Epcot and it's way too early, I just like, my heart starts, starts beating. Yeah, you're all Twitter padded. Yeah, I'm so, ready. right now we're gonna go to Saratoga Springs to just chill. We're gonna go home early tonight and go straight to bed. We have to be up so soon. My goal is leave Saratoga by 9.30, be in bed by 10.30. Okay. Um, I ruined the mug a little bit by all the coffee I drink out of it, so she's giving a little TLC right here. And then, an ass cold pop. Coca-Cola. It may not be new merch, but it's new merch to us. Check out the Saratoga line. Yeah, I like 
like a love it. Oh, I like Mickey. Oh my god. Riding the horse. That's just fun. Look at this. Oh, this is a solid mug. Yep. Oh. I like established 2004. That is a very. Oh, and it's got this logo on the other side. <gasps> for my birth. <gasps> for my birthday. Is it cheap? That's a cool magnet. Thirteen ninety nine. We've stayed here before. We need the magnet. We do. This is a very nice magnet. Ooh. Got a nice comfy spot on the couch. Got a cold Coke. Got our books. I'm gonna read. I'm reading my Killian still. Run or, run or die. Yawning. Says so reading Mrs. Obama. Inside of our eyelids. That too. My dad, whenever we, he would like be done for the day, would say I'm gonna go do my reading. And he meant Sorry. the inside of his eyelids. <laughs> We're gonna chill, relax on a comfy couch. And then we'll show you the shirts before we leave. Before we go, I wanted to go over and show you the shirts. Here's the 5K. This is the only one, because I accidentally forgot to change my registration form before it was locked in, that I wanted to switch them from large to medium. So, but they have a t-shirt swap, but the downside of us going so late in the day is there weren't many men's mediums left, but I was able to swap out my Princess 5K for a medium. So this is my favorite shirt so far. Moana, awesome. Then we got Miss Pocahontas herself for the Enchanted 10K. It's more of a maroon color that's showing up. We have a lot of yellow lights going on right here in the lobby of Saratoga. Then we got a very vibrant yellow for Cindy herself. Really cool, I dig it. And last but not least, for the Fairy Tale, fairy tale Challenge, 19.3 miles. The three fairies from Sleeping Beauty. I think it's time we head home. We got a long, early day. Michelle just met Barack in my book. And she's crying over here. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> it all happens in Chicago. All right, today is February 20th, the day before Run Disney Princess Weekend. The quote is a quick one by Robert Frost. The best way out is always through. I got my shirt all bibbed up. With awesome. my bib boards. I got my outfit situated. I got my clothes out, my shoes out, watch is charging, phone is charging. It's gonna be raining when set. we leave. It's gonna be raining? Mm hmm At least here. Well we have our rain jackets right there. Yeah. So we will be prepared. Yes. Oh I think the battery's charging for the GoPro stuff. Oh god. Okay. We gotta go to bed because we gotta get up in like four hours. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>